Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is New Year's Eve and I have your word for the day. So 2022 begins tomorrow. Now I know that many of you cannot wait for 2021 to end. Maybe you've lost a loved one. Maybe you've received a terrible diagnosis. You, maybe you've experienced a terrible loss. You are glad that 2022 is here and somewhat marks another chance or a new beginning. It is easy to look back at our past with regret and sadness and even become a bit depressed. Uh, the things that have hurt us over the past year have the potential to keep us hurt if we keep focusing on the pain they caused. But if you're a follower of Jesus, you have the supernatural ability to control your mind, to give God control of your thoughts and begin to focus on the future. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you in view of God's mercy to give your bodies to God because of all He has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind He will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship Him. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. See, as you focus on your future, not 2022, but on your future life in Jesus, let God transform your thoughts this new year. If you seem to always focus on the bad, if you seem to always focus on the negative, if you seem to always focus on the pain and the hurt, begin inviting God to transform your thoughts, to focus in on the good, to set your mind on things above, to fix your thoughts on Jesus. Allow love and joy and peace to flow from your heart and mind as you interact with others. And if you make that your focus for the first part of 2022, you're going to experience God's blessing well into 2023. So in 2022, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. And if you let him, if you invite him, he will because he cares for you. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.